Welcome to video 14 on Fun with Arduino. In the previous video we got rid of the delay statement which stalls the Arduino so it cannot do anything anymore and we replaced it by using the internal millisecond clock. And well, let's now see how we can build that into our day-night cycle module. What we did is we built a blink example, but with our day-night cycle module we have a little different situation. We need to add night time to the clock reading when the lights are on and when the lights are off we need to add daytime to the current millis. So let's have a look into the code how we can accomplish this. This is the code that we had at the end of video 12, where we used the analog potentiometer to change the cycle time. But the problem was, when we rotate it during uh, the cycle running, we don't have any visual, we don't know what we are doing. And that was because of the delay statement, which we are going to take out now. First thing that we are going to do is uh, declare a light status byte which is the the byte that says the lights are on or off and this is the one we are going to change when it is time to do so and it's the one we are going to send to our digital write command uh, that turns on the lights and we also add now our unsigned long called time for action. This is the, 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 the moment in time with, with which we are going to compare the current millis clock. And if it is time for action, then we take the action. In the setup, nothing has uh, changed, so we can totally skip that part. In the loop, uh, yeah, the first thing that we do in the loop is read our potentiometer and we, are, we keep doing that, nothing has to change there. The second thing we do in the loop is to see if the status of our on-off switch has changed and of course we keep doing that, nothing has to change there. The third thing that we do in the loop is the main if statement if the switch is on, the cycle started, yeah, then we need to uh, start looking at our clock. And uh, so the delay statement is out and it is now replaced by this check. If the current clock is larger than time for action, then, well, the action that we need to take is to change the light status. Uh, if it is once on, we put it off and vice versa. And then we need to do one extra thing. If the lights are on, then obviously it is now night time. We calculate our new time for action to be the current clock plus the night time. And the night time was derived from the cycle time, adding a few random seconds just for fun. If the uh, uh, current light status is zero. If it's off, then obviously it's daytime, and then of course the new time for action becomes the current clock plus daytime. That's all there is to it. Well, one more thing there is to it. Uh, we also can now immediately read the status of our toggle switch. So if we switch uh, our on-off switch in the off state, then, uh, that's over here, then we can take some actions. Of course, we first put our uh, switch panel LED off. We always already did that, but new is now that we uh, reset our time for action and also reset our light status. Immediately, we switch the lights off. And the final statement in the loop is that we write the light status to our light pin. So this also is new, not only will we be able to see our potentiometer change, but we also can immediately shut down the cycle when we throw the switch. Well, let's uh, have a look how this works in practice. Let's upload this code and try it out. It's working. 
Yeah, almost done. And open the serial monitor and see what happens. Okay, I can change the cycle time. Well, that has not changed. I could always do it and see immediately what happens. But now I'm starting the cycle. And now what's new is, even while the cycle is running, I can change the cycle time and see what is happening. And that was never the case with the delay statement. Uh, our blue LED is uh, turning on and off. That is our, our lights that are controlled with a FET module, of course, in reality. Uh, I can switch it off and immediately the cycle stops. So also that is new. Start and stop is immediate. Uh, well, it, uh, it's working fine. Let's now try it out with the other code that we had with the keyboard input. Here is the code that used the keyboard input and I made the exact same changes which means add the light status byte and at the time for action, unsigned long, uh, set up nothing changes, and in the loop, uh, here we do the uh, serial read, of the keyboard input for the cycle time, nothing changes there. Here we check if the uh, on off switch has changed state, nothing changes there. And here are the changes, uh, exactly the same actually as in the previous analog software. We uh, check if it is time for action and then we take the action. And if not, then we immediately switch uh, the cycle off. Those are the changes. Let's put it to the test. Let's now upload uh, this code and try it out. And let's see what happens in this case. Uh, yeah, upload almost finished. Uh, let me open the serial monitor. There it is. I can type in a new value, let's say four. And yeah, there it is, but that is nothing new. But now I uh, turn the uh, lights on and the cycle is running now. And right now I could not type a new value. Uh, yeah, I could, but I did not see it. But right now, uh, yeah, I immediately see any new value that I type in here. 180, 180. And if I switch my cycle off, it is immediately switched off. Well, this is working fine. This is what we wanted. We are going to use this millis. Uh, time for action uh, construction more often in future. Uh, talking about future, the next video we are going to have a look at how we can dim our LEDs. Maybe for the, the, the small LEDs that we use in houses or street lights, not important, but suppose that you like to have overhead lighting with LED strips, then it can be very funny to be able to dim those lights. Uh, we have had a look at the analog read statement. It will not come as a surprise that the Arduino also has an analog write statement, which is the one we are going to use. Maybe see you back there. Bye bye.